So our topic tonight is um, how do you use the internet to build what they call a sales funnel and all the different things that are on there like social media and blogging, email. These are all really great devices that we have available to us that makes running a business so much more successful for the small business owner than it used to be. Hi, are you here for the meetup? Yeah, I am. Oh, great. I'm very so sorry. I'm a little late. No, come on in. Sit down. Doing? Good. I'm Joe. I'm doing my sweet Jasmine. 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 So we're just getting started. Um, yeah. So our, our, our topic tonight is how to build a sales funnel. And, and the idea with the sales funnel is how do you take everything that's available to us in social media and email and blogging and... Yeah. Hi, Karen. How are you? Uh, and um, and use them to to your advantages to help you build a business. And what do you what do you do work wise? I'm a personal stylist. Oh, great. Yeah, so I work with um, men and women both. Uh, it's kind of an intimate process. Yeah. So I work with them in their homes, and then we go out together and we kind of redefine, you know, who who they are presenting to the world. Awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Very, it's fun. I have really have a good time doing it. I just am having trouble. So this should help you tonight Wonderful. in a big way. And um, Jasmine, you were telling me that, right? Or, yeah, Jasmine. Yeah, yeah, thank you. You were telling me that you're currently um, a student, but also working at a at a restaurant in Palos Verdes. And tell us more about you, so that Karen and. Uh, well, I'm still just working as a food writer, so I don't have my own business or anything. Um, I do do. I have little side things. I do hair makeup as well, cool. things like that. Um, I just kind of wanted to get this information for future reference. So yeah. I Googled free seminars and here I am. So, so your goals for future, your goals for future are to have maybe have a business of your yeah, own. And definitely have a business of my own. And I just don't want to work for other people anymore. I'm tired of, you know, <laughs> clocking in, clocking out, waiting for that paycheck. So just kind of you awesome. know, taking the steps to That's awesome. From there. <laughs> That's great. So this should help you then. So let's just kind of jump into it. Um, in marketing, which is kind of what all this is really all about, is it's all about helping people solve their needs. Okay, we start with that. So, looking at this, if you know, these are all the kinds of needs that if you have a business, you might have business type needs. And if you're like you and me, you know, as consumers, these might be the things that you're typically trying to solve for. Okay, and it could be anything from in the business side you don't have enough time to get everything that you need to get done in a day and I'm sure in what you do it's there's challenging moments right and at the same time you know you may be looking for products as a consumer and says I don't feel really well today that strikes a thought in your mind about how am I gonna solve this need so the first part is helping people become aware that they do have needs that they need to solve for okay in fact it's really all about building a sales funnel is really finding a way to say that okay you the company are over here on one end of your bridge and your customers are over here on the other and they've got needs you've got a service they've got needs they want to look better and present themselves better and you want to find a way to bring these two people together that's what we're all talking about so the sales funnel are all the techniques that the internet brings to us that helps us bridge that gap. Okay. So let's start with this. Th these are kind of all of the real classical kinds of needs that we have. You probably heard about this at some point or another. And and all this really says is that we start having we start off having really basic kinds of needs. I'm hungry, I'm cold, I'm tired, I'm thirsty, whatever. And then as soon as you've found a way to satisfy those needs, you start dealing with more sophisticated kinds of needs, but you don't progress from one into the other until you found a way to satisfy the more basic ones. And then you can focus on things that are more sophisticated, like I want to be loved, I want to be needed, I want to be recognized, I want to be successful in my career, I want to become the best person that I want, I want to give back to my world. You know, those are all kinds of needs, and they're all kind of building from the bottom, moving up through this sort of progression. Okay. Well, customers are always going on this, they call it a customer journey. And I want to kind of help you understand 